Hey, what's up guys? Chris here from Security Bros back with another review video. And in this video I will take a closer look at the Anki C800 4K Dome PoE IP security camera. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you've probably seen my review I did a while back of Anki's 4K turret camera. And the main difference between these two cameras is that the dome camera is vandal proof and can take a lot of beating, while the turret camera supports SD card, which the dome doesn't. And later on in the video, I will do a vandal proof test just for fun to see how much beating it can take. And this camera is great for both indoor and outdoor use. And since this is an OEM high vision camera, build quality is really good. Image quality is okay, not the best 4K quality I've seen, but shouldn't have any problem to identify a person or reading a license plate, within reasonable distance of course. Since the camera doesn't support a SD card, it is recommended to connect the camera to a NVR, and it does support Onviv, so you should be able to use it with most brands NVRs that support it. And I connected the camera to Onviv device manager without any problem. You do however need to activate Onviv and set up a profile in the web interface before you can use it. At the moment you can only buy the camera on Anki's website, but I'm guessing it will also be sold on Amazon eventually. Right now it sells for $129. And for full transparency to you guys, Anki did send me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video is strictly my own, based on my experiences testing this camera out. I will go over both pros and cons. And if you're interested in buying one, you will find my affiliate links in the video description down below with the most updated prices. Okay, so the camera uses an 8 megapixel sensor with a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160 and it can record 4K at 15 frames per second. The camera I got uses a 4mm lens with a viewing angle of 79 degrees, but I would guess you can buy it with different lenses as well. Unfortunately the camera doesn't have a built in microphone so it can't record audio. You can connect the camera to the Anki app if you want access to the camera remotely through your smart device and get push notifications when the camera detects motion. But since the camera doesn't have a SD card, I can't show you playback since I have no storage set up for the camera. It is weatherproof with a IP67 rating and it has a working temperature between minus 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. For night vision it uses free infrared lights with a distance up to 30 meters and I think the camera had good night vision. Okay, so what we get in the box is the camera, a quick start guide, a CD, drill plate, Torx key and a bag with screws. So to access the camera for the first time we first need to activate it. You can do it either by using a web browser or you can use the SADP search tool which allows you to change the IP address or set it to DHCP. When the camera is activated we can access it through the web interface and if you're familiar with Hike Vision you will recognize this web interface. I will not go over each settings one by one, what I will do is quickly show them to you and then you can pause the video at any time if there is a setting that you're more interested in.
Okay, let's have a look at some recordings. This is daytime, recording 4K at 15 frames per second. And here I am at around 10 meters from the camera, and at this distance you can easily read the plate number. And here is a short clip with a car driving by, also recording 4K at 15 frames per second. This is at night time and it's kinda dark here since it's raining, but it's not in complete darkness since there is a street light just across the street. Okay, let's test how vandal proof this camera really is. Here I do a drop test from maybe 1.5 meters. And as expected, not much damage to the camera. And I do apologize for just seeing a black screen on my phone. I didn't realize until after I recorded it and then it was too late. Anyway, here is a bit harder drop with some force. And same here, no problem for the camera, only some small scratches. Here I decided to destroy the camera no matter what, but even hitting it with a hammer, the camera could take a lot of beating. Actually kind of surprised it could handle as much as it did. Here it did finally start to break. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. See you next time.